2025 Chevy Equinox gets a big redesign, adds active trim. It's all new, save for a carryover engine. Chevrolet is betting big on electric cars, and one of the keys is the Equinox EV. Since it will likely be the volume model for the brand. But not everyone is ready for EVs just yet, and GM as a whole is still sorting out its Altium electric models. As such, it's still going to need an internal combustion option, and thankfully, the regular gas-powered Equinox is finally getting a redesign for the 2025 model year. It's a thoroughly comprehensive design. 2. Chevrolet says that aside from the new exterior and interior, the Equinox even rides on a new platform. Compared to the old SUV styling, the new Equinox is far chunkier and more upright. The grille is much larger, the wheel arches are squared off, the fender flares are pronounced, and there's more sharp creases throughout. There's a bit of a floating roof look, which is accentuated by available contrasting colors, and the C pillars have a distinct triangular sail shape that stops just short of the roof. Different trims get different styling, too. The RS is the sportier trim, and comes with a black roof, black mesh grille and 19-inch wheels. The active trim, while equipped nearly the same, gets a whole new front fascia with big, bold grille. 17-inch wheels with aggressive all-terrain tires and a white roof. The interior is a similar case as the exterior. It's all new with a standard 11-inch digital instrument cluster and 11.3-inch infotainment touchscreen. We're also pleased to report that there are plenty of buttons and knobs for climate. Plus a volume knob and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto remain features. The dash is angular with unique protruding trim pieces and turbine-inspired air vents. The plastic on some of the trim and around the air vents are translucent and different colors based on the trims. The Active and RS each have particularly sharp interiors, with the former getting a contrasting black and tan leatherette both on the seats and the dash, whereas the RS gets black and red. They each have unique perforated patterns in the inserts. And the RS has red and blue contrast stitching. The interior also now features a column-mounted electronic shifter. That brings us to the drivetrains of the new Equinox. The one piece of carryover equipment is the turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder, which will remain the only engine available for the gas-powered Equinox. Though Chevy says it has been updated slightly, the company didn't go into detail on the changes, but it does make slightly more horsepower at 175 versus 170 on the current one. Also new is that the engine is paired either with a CVT or an 8-speed automatic transmission. Equinoxes with front-wheel drive get the CVT, and all-wheel drive examples get the automatic. These replace the old 6-speed unit. With the added ratios, the new Equinoxes have a good chance of getting better fuel economy. For reference, the outgoing model gets 28 mpg combined with front-wheel drive and 26 mpg with all-wheel drive. Chevrolet is also including a long list of safety features as standard on all trims. It includes front and rear automatic emergency braking, blind spot and rear cross traffic warning, adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist and rear parking sensors. The only options are surround view cameras, digital rear view mirror, 
traffic sign recognition, speed assist and rear pedestrian detection. Pricing has yet to be announced for the Equinox. But we expect the new base trim of the LT to start between $28,000 and $30,000, in order to be close to the current LT. Exact timing for availability also hasn't been announced, but it should go on sale this year.